In this short tutorial, I'm going to show what motion sensitivity is and how using it can help your retimed result in the case that Twixter has created unwanted warping. When you retime a shot using Twixter and there are elements crossing in front of each other, you might see this unwanted warping in the result. If you are seeing this problem across scene cuts, I have addressed that issue in a previous tutorial. Also, Twixter Pro has some additional tools to address issues like this, but we will see that in another tutorial. In the regular version of Twixter, the way to address this issue is with more or less motion sensitivity. Motion sensitivity limits how much pixels can move. What this means is that if you look at the slider, a value of zero assures that pixels can't move very much and a value of 100 allows pixels to move as much as the motion interpolator can calculate. The default value of 70 might sometimes be a bit too ambitious for some materials, so you have the ability to try different values to see what works best for each individual shot. If you see unwanted warping, then you might need to turn down motion sensitivity. If you have large motion and you see what looks like frame blending happening instead of warping, you might need to turn up motion sensitivity. You can also keyframe this value, so if you have a problem area, you can keyframe the motion sensitivity. Let's take a look at an example of this. Let's go to the filter tab in the viewer where we can see the parameters we have set up in Twixter, which we've already added. Here's a shot that I've made three times slower. For this sequence, I use the default value of 70 for motion sensitivity, but it looks like I have a problem area between frames 22 and 2 seconds 17 frames. So I'm going to go back and add keyframes to use a lower motion sensitivity value in the problem area to produce less warping. In this case, since the problem area is between time code 22 and 2 seconds 17 frames, I can add a keyframe at 0 and make it the default value of 70 from 0 to 21 frames. And then I add another keyframe here at frame 22 and make the value 20 so I have less warping and more blending. I am using 20 for this problem area but you just need to experiment to see what values work best for each individual shot. I add another keyframe at 217. I will make the value 20 to hold from 22 to 217. Now I will add one more keyframe at frame 218 and make that value 70 again and that will hold till the end of the shot. Let's go ahead and render the sequence and take a look at the result now that we have keyframed the value. We now have a better result with less warping, so that's how we can use the motion sensitivity value to get rid of unwanted warping in Twixter within Final Cut Pro.